You were born to walk. You didn't come out of the womb with wheels. You have these short upper limbs, so walking on all fours feels really crappy. So today we're gonna talk about walking and how to walk properly. We're gonna talk about how it should feel, what it should look like. We're gonna talk about how often you should walk and how far to walk so that your body stays healthy. I'm also going to include resources to help you walk better. So make sure you watch through to the end so you understand how to walk correctly. First, let's talk about what you should look like when you're walking. You should appear fairly relaxed. Your spine should be in a nice neutral position. Your feet, legs, and hips should be driving the motion. Your pelvis should not be twisting asymmetrically. Your shoulders and arms should be fairly relaxed and also symmetrical. Your head and neck should be balanced on top of your spine, not craning forward in any awkward positions. Your feet are your connection to the ground, and hopefully they're getting good feedback from the surface you're walking on. When you're barefoot, the muscles in your foot actually get to do extra work, a lot more work than what happens when you wear a big, thick, stiff shoe. Shoe companies would have you believe that you need a lot of thick padding to protect your poor, fragile little feet. So then you're wearing that big, thick, protective shoe all day long. That's like wearing a boxing glove all day long to protect your hands from impact. It definitely does protect your hand from impact, but it's gonna be at the cost of your hand's function, flexibility, and strength. So if you're accustomed to wearing really thick, inflexible shoes to protect your feet, it's a good idea to gradually transition to more flexible shoes with thinner soles over time. You do not want to rush into going barefoot all day every day because your feet are not prepared for it. Transition slowly and carefully into more flexible, thinner soled shoes and your your feet will thank you in the long run. When you're walking, you should feel pretty relaxed and fluid. It shouldn't feel like a ton of effort. You shouldn't feel like you're clomping around from foot to foot, just barely swinging yourself through. You want your walking to feel as smooth and relaxed as possible. This is how humans have traveled for thousands of years. Take a video of yourself walking and see what you notice. Are you stuck in a hunch? Do you have some obvious asymmetries to address? If you feel unstable and shaky when you're walking, it's also a good idea to use stretches and exercises to help bring the requisite strength back to help you feel balanced. If your walking feels clunky, your posture looks off, you feel super asymmetrical or just uncoordinated, be sure to check out the description box for links to stretches and exercises that'll help you with your walking. Also in the next few weeks, I will be posting new videos to help you walk better and I will post the links down in the description box. Box. Key takeaway is don't just ignore stiffness and asymmetry. Those things will only get worse over time. If you're walking correctly, at the end of your walk, you should feel mentally refreshed and you should feel like your lower body did some work. Hopefully you feel something in your butt and in your hamstrings. If that's how you feel at the end of your walks, good job. If you feel like your neck and shoulder are super stiff and tight after your walk, then you definitely have some work to do. Now let's talk about how often and how far you should be walking. If you've been really sedentary for a long period of time, walking might actually not feel so relaxing. It might feel like a decent challenge. If you're just starting off, walking five to 10 minutes a day might already feel like a challenge. Five minutes might feel like a marathon. That may feel mortifying, embarrassing, and shameful. But guess what? That's totally okay. You're feeling all those negative emotions because you know you're made to do more. And here's the extra good news. If you keep walking a little bit every day, you're going to be able to do more and more and more and you will reach the potential that you know you are capable of. And if you're thinking 10 minutes, psh, whatever, I could do that with my eyes closed. Don't. You should do your walks with your eyes open. Go for longer walks every day. Go for 20, 30, 40 minute walks every day. Just remember to keep your body in balance with an appropriate amount of stretching and other exercises to maintain your strength and flexibility so your walks still feel relaxed and comfortable and balanced. Now you might be wondering, how much is too much? Is there some distance I shouldn't try to walk? The answer is there is no upper limit that's gonna apply to every human individual on this planet. If you're just starting out, your maximum is gonna be very different from somebody who already walks five miles every day. The key thing is to pay attention to how your body feels during and after your walks. If you feel like you're just getting beat down by really long walks, then you probably should be walking a little bit less. And if you feel like your walks are no problem, they're rejuvenating, and you just wanna do more because it feels good, then go for it. Remember that for thousands of years, human beings have had to walk long distances every single day 
just to take care of the basics of survival. There are still humans living in less industrialized situations who still need to walk miles a day to get water and food. Walking long distances every day is something every human body can get good at. We just don't get good at it naturally in a society where we're constantly numbing our minds and bodies at a screen. Walking is good for you. It's totally 100% natural. It's a powerful way to restore your mental health and your physical health. I want to invite you to join my team and help me raise money in the 2023 Walk for Healing. The Walk for Healing is a fundraiser for the Hospice of Slow County. It's a nonprofit organization based in San Luis Obispo County, California, that provides support to those who are dying and to the families that are grieving the loss of their loved ones. Their volunteers provide free in-home non-medical support for the terminally ill. They also provide counseling for those who are in the process of losing their loved ones and those who have already lost their loved ones. All the services they provide to their community are absolutely free. In 2022, their services helped me face the loss of my own mother with open eyes and an open heart. I can't think of anything more universally important and more human than helping others find healing in the face of loss. So this year, Upright Health is the proud platinum sponsor of the Walk for Healing. So I'm inviting you to join my team and walk for healing. Walk in memory of a loved one you've lost. Walk because it's good for you. Walk for whatever your reasons are. Join me. I'm going to leave a link down below in the description box and in the comments. And if you don't want to join me in this fundraiser, it's totally fine. You should still go out for a walk. And after you get back from your walk, go to uprighthealth.com to sign up for my newsletter so we stay connected. To join my team in the Walk for Healing, click that link. For free videos to help you walk better, check these out here. Like, share, and subscribe with the bell notification on. And as always, I hope you remember that pain sucks. Life shouldn't. Thank you.